What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we got the Arkansas Razorbacks back in action. We are ranked number 19 after beating the Auburn Tigers. That game was the first time all season that we won back-to-back. -back. So now we're looking to win three games in a row versus Ole Miss. Now, Ole Miss comes into the action at 1-5, and five, but this team is pretty solid. Their only win is versus Southern Miss. But Jonathan Pope, their starting quarterback, 16 touchdowns, just four interceptions. He did miss some time due to injury, but he's averaging around 217 yards per game and completing 70% of his passes. Tony Cunningham is their starting quarterback running back and he has 637 yards in six games so you know the average because you're better at math than i am and he has one touchdown casey fletcher is the best pass catcher 36 receptions 350 yards and seven touchdowns and they have a linebacker by the name of patrick willis who's pretty good but jonathan pope might make his job harder by throwing an interception and by giving us a short field so Take it how you want to take it, but Patrick Willis and this defense might be in trouble because Darren McFadden with the short field is trouble, trouble, trouble. And there goes RJ, Robert Johnson. He's going to work his way upfield using his legs for a gain of seven, and then he's going to do the rest. Touchdown, and there you go. And, yes, Patrick Willis does lead the SEC West in tackles with 47 of those things so far. So the old Miss Rebels going to kick things off at the 26-yard line. Pope throws it. That's a much better pass. Cunningham hauls it in, and that's going to result in a first down. They're going to give it to Cunningham. Up that guy, and he's going to go nowhere fast. Pope dropping back now. Throws it to the right side, and that pass will fall incomplete. McIntosh is there to bat that thing away. Almost got an interception, and then that pass will also hit the grass. So we take over. Give it to Peyton Hillis. Let the fullback eat. The fullbacks eat. On every channel, they got to eat. Second down and five, McFadden with the spin move, and then a double spin move. And then McFadden still breaking ankles. He comes in as the fifth rusher, fifth leading rusher in the SEC when this game started. McFadden to the right side. Patrick is there to lay the lumber. We see you, number 49, one of the best 49ers of all time. Johnson fires at that pass, will fall incomplete. So third down and three, play fake. Johnson under some pressure. He rolls right, nothing doing. He decides to roll back left. Still has the football. Finally lets it fly, and that pass will fall incomplete. So a little bit of the asterisk on that last play, but it does not turn into anything good for us. As we give the ball right back to the Rebels, they run the ball up that gut, and Cunningham able to power through some traffic for a gain of seven. They fake the run, and then look out. Laying the lumber. Fred Bledsoe, our big deep tackle, gets in there for the sack and lays the smack down upon his forehead. Howling the big fullback and then try to get the first down, and he does just that. So Pope fires it to the left side, caught by Mosby. And Mosby getting busy to the Arkansas 43-yard line. This is the first time they're in our territory. And then Kurt Patrick in your backfield. It was designed halfback pass. That didn't work. And then Cunningham able to get away from Kirk Patrick and pick up around five yards. So third down and a long eight. They throw it. That pass tipped and picked by Sam Jolly, the freshman, to the 30, to the 40, just barely. And that's where we're going to kick things off on our new drive. So two freshmen on the defense have our two interceptions. I think the future is bright. McFadden to the left side. McFadden, he's going to get chopped down. But he picks up a gain of seven. Third down and three. That pass will be broken up. And we go three and out after the interception. That pass was a duck. Aflac. Second down and ten. Toss play. Cunningham looking to throw it back to Pope. Pope makes the catch. Going to get brought down by Kirkpatrick for the fourth time today. So start the second quarter with the punt. Baker from just outside his own 20 to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, to the 45. Going to power through some contact and work his way up to midfield. Johnson rolls right, throws it, and that pass will be broken up. Second down, 10 yards to go. Schmidt to the left side, and he goes nowhere fast. Third down and 12. Johnson looking downfield, throws it. That pass will be caught. Is that our first completion? I think it is. Gain of 24 with that pass. Hillis to the right side. He's going to pick up a yard. Second down and nine. Johnson looking for Winston, who hauls it in. A perfect pass in between two defenders and another fresh set of 10. And then a big time block by Baker. Oh, I thought that's a touchdown. Willis got too much speed. I thought that was six. Instead, we get to the one, and then Hillis does the rest. So Ole Miss is still in this ball game. Hasn't been clear sailings or easy pickings for this Arkansas offense. 
So Ole Miss still has a chance, even though they're down by two scores here. Still in the first half, they run the ball with Cunningham. He's able just to move the line of scrimmage with those big boys up front. They reset that line of scrimmage and pick up a good game. That pass nearly intercepted. That would have been a big-time pick. Pope looking. Pope throwing. Got hit in his back, and now he's feeling the pain. Hopefully it's not too serious. We're going to run the ball with Schmidt. And Quentin Schmidt to the 25. Breaks the man's ankles and works his way up to the Ole Miss 32. Excuse me, the Arkansas 32-yard line. Schmidt up the gut again for a gain of two. Looking downfield, we need eight yards. We're going to roll right. We're going to throw it right on second down and eight, and that pass falls to the grass. So out of the gun from the 34, we're going to step up in the pocket just to get sacked in the Ole Miss defense. Has done more good than bad so far. Remember that first drive that resulted in a touchdown. We started inside their own 30-yard line. So Ole Miss's defense is definitely stepping it up today. Looking downfield is Pope. Can that offense step it up? Not with passes like that. They cannot. So we take back over. First down and 10. Johnson going to roll left. He's still rolling as he does so well. This time he's going to keep it. Picks up the first down and then some as we work up to the 41-yard line. Quick pass is going to be broken up and tethered for Baker. Going to run the ball with McFadden. McFadden has a first down. Still on his feet as he breaks the tackle when we get to the Rebels 42. We give it to McFadden again. The ball is loose. And there is where for the recovery. So first down and 10 as our offense continues to struggle. That pass will fall incomplete. It's kind of hard to say that we're struggling as we're up by 14, but usually we got some more firepower than this. Mosby makes the catch up to the 48 with the first down. They throw it downfield. Mosby with another catch on Mobley this time. Got Mosby and Mobley. They got Cunningham up the gut. Cunningham running over everybody. He looked to be corralled, and it wasn't Golden Corral, so they got loose, and it's going to be a touchdown for Ole Miss. We fired downfield. Washington makes the catch. Cedric Washington to the 50. Gets dropped at the 46-yard line. Now Johnson's going to roll left. Throw that thing. That pass going to be caught by Baker, and that's going to be a gain of eight. So from the 38 now, Johnson rolls out of the pocket. He's going to throw it, and that pass is going to be intercepted by Robinson, who already forced a fumble. Now he has a pick inside the 30, inside the 20, down inside the 10. So a huge mistake has allowed Ole Miss to maybe score before the half is up. Mosby makes the catch, and that's going to result in a gain of maybe one. Cunningham on a toss play, and Jamal Ad Anderson, excuse me, I'm about to say Jamal Adams. Jamal Anderson is there for the stop. Pope throws it. Tipped away, and that's going to make them settle for a field goal. The kick is up. The kick is good. So Ole Miss does score before that half is up. But Arkansas, we got a lot to cheer about. 14 to 10 is the score. And we get the football first to start the second half. About seven yards deep in our own end zone. We break a, we break a tackle. And then Washington goes down at the 16 to match his jersey number. We're going to run the ball. We get up to the 20-yard line. So second down. Let's run the ball again. And that's going to result in a solid little pickup. So third down and four. Very manageable situation. Johnson looking to keep it as this tight man coverage across the board. And he's going to pick up the first down using his legs. Let's open up that option attack now. And he's going to find running room again. And that's going to lead to another Arkansas first down. RJ looking to throw it. A decent pass. Not a perfect pass by all means. But a catchable football would have been a tough catch. But we're going to drop that one nonetheless. So third down, throwing it to Baker, who hauls this one in. And he's going to have a first down just barely. Johnson, rolling right, sets his feet, throws it to McFadden out of the backfield, who's probably an underutilized weapon in the passing game. Probably got to use him a little bit more. Schmidt gets the carry. Schmidt has a first down. Schmidt gets chopped down at the Ole Miss nine-yard line. First and goal, give it to him again. And is this going to be the freshman's first rushing touchdown? I think it is. So Arkansas, we got horses in the stable. That's what you want to see. Or is it pigs? Is it wild hogs? We have wild hogs in the stable. Pope fires that thing. Caught by Mobley. And that's going to result in a gain of eight. Toss play now. The Rebels going to try to continue to run the football. But Kirkpatrick is there to shut it down. Now, Graham, the only rushing, the only touchdown came on the ground. But they might be better suited trying to throw this one. Because if we can just run the ball, they can run the ball. Time will slip away from both of us. That pass going to be caught by Pope. He's going to get chased down by Kirkpatrick with mean intention. He did not have to hit him that hard. His mama would be proud. The other guy's mama probably disappointed. That pass going to be caught. There goes Fletcher. And Casey Fletcher makes his second or his eighth, excuse me, his eighth touchdown reception of the season. Don't know where I got two from. Bracken, he makes the catch right there. Second down and one at the nine-yard pickup. And we go nowhere. 
So third down and one offset. Ah, right, look, we give it to Peyton Hillis, and the fullback is able to get it by the skin of his teeth. We're going to run the ball with Hillis again. Breaks the tackle, cuts it back. Nothing doing. I think the Rebels sniffed that one out. Second down and 11. Johnson heaves it, has a man open, that's Washington. Washington in the Ole Miss territory, takes a couple to bring him down at the 37. Now Johnson looking to throw again, under some pressure, he's going to run it. Maybe could have got some more, but he doesn't get sacked, and that's a good thing. So we'll take the one-yard pickup. Johnson's going to keep it. Willis is there, who forces the fumble, but the ball will roll out of bounds. Play fake. Throwing it deep. Baker has it, and that would have been a touchdown, but he went to the popcorn party, and he still has some butter on his hands. Schmidt to the 10. Schmidt makes, a, makes two Rebels miss, and we get inside the five. End around now. Baker with the ball in his hands. He's trouble, so give it to him on the handoff if his hands ain't working with catching the football, and he gets in there for the touchdown. Now they're going to get up past the 20, and the Ole Miss Rebels are going to kick things off at the 23-yard line. Cunningham. Weaving through traffic, bouncing off of people like a pinball, and picks up a gain of eight. They play fake it. They throw it. That's going to be caught, and that's going to result in a first down, and that is going to take us to the fourth quarter. We are up by 11. So first down, 10 yards to go. They're going to run the ball with Cunningham. Cunningham gets loose, finally gets dragged down by Sam Jolly. Going to be one of the best strong safeties in this conference and maybe in the country if he's not already as a freshman. They run the ball with Cunningham. He's going to pick up a first down. First and 10. That pass broken up. There you go. Second down and 10 from the 48-yard line. Cunningham going to get shut down. Big time tackle. And now it's going to be third down and long. Pope has it and Pope throws it and Jonathan Pope's pass will fall to complete great coverage by Houston. They're going to go for it on fourth down and 10. They throw it and they overthrow everybody and we're going to take over. Four minutes to go in this one from the 50 to the 40 to the 35. Crosses the 30 with a fresh set of 10 in his back pocket up to the 28 yard line. Now Schmidt gets the carry and he gets inside the 20 and he has a first down. So it, it could have been Felix Jones and McFadden instead at the Felix Jones transfer, we get Schmidt, and it's Schmidt and McFadden. This one-two combination, throwing a little bit of Peyton Hillis, could be deadly as McFadden crosses the goal line. And this thing could be over. It's not officially over, but I think the big lady, the, 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 the heifer, the fat girl, is warming up just a little bit. Second down and 10, Cunningham up the gut, bounces to the left side, goes nowhere fast. Third down and 11, that pass going to be caught, but shy of the first down. So fourth and four, they're going to go for it. Quick pass caught by Cunningham, and he has a first down just like that. They're going to run the ball now. Yes, get the ball to Cunningham, but maybe throw it to him like he did on the last play. Second down and seven. That pass was caught by Cunningham. I might be a prophet. Third down and one. They fake it to Cunningham. Pope has it, throws it deep. Fletcher has a step, and he's going to haul it in over Michael Coe. So it is 35 to 20. They're going to go for two, trying to make it a 10 point game, and that pass will fall incomplete. McIntosh with the tight cover. So they can go for an onside kick, and Thompson is there for the recovery. And now it's going to be first down and 10. Don't run the ball with Hillis. Hillis trying to fight for every inch, and he does so with a decent gain of nine. Give it to Hillis again, breaks a tackle, and has a first down. Minute 39 on the clock. We give the ball to McFadden. He goes nowhere fast. And the Rebels have one timeout. We give the ball to Schmidt. Schmidt has a first down and then some. We're going to move the clock from there. And we are going to win this game by 12 points. Ole Miss, just like Auburn. Auburn, not the greatest record last week, but they came in and gave us a heck of a show down at Jordan Air. Today. Back at home in Arkansas, Ole Miss, they come to town. They give us a heck of a game. Yes, we were able to distance ourselves, keep it kind of two possessions a whole game, but it was much tighter than what we expected. Next game is going to be versus, I believe, it's Western Michigan. I believe it's Western Michigan who we face next week. And hopefully it won't be this close. I'm looking for a blowout. Hopefully I will see you guys there. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love. Hi, sauce.